So the Twitter user Richie McGinnis just tweeted, if one clip from my camera roll sums up 2020, it's this one. And I believe he's absolutely accurate. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Okudowski of WeAreChange.org. Happy frickin' New Year. We made it. Congratulations for surviving a crazy, turbulent, insane year. If we have time in this video, I'm going to go over my year in review. But personally, there's so much news, especially about the Great Reset from the latest Time Magazine disinformation propaganda puff piece with, of course, the latest announcement from Wall Street that has officially begun the process. That is the Great Reset. Something, of course, that as a critical thinking independent media outlet, we are automatically against. And we even made merchandise specifically stating so. Cheesy plug, yes, you could get this shirt right now. Say no to the Great Reset on teesprings.com forward slash stores forward slash we are changed. The link is down in the description below. So yeah, lots of important news to break down on that front. So we'll see if we have time during this absolutely strange, confusing year where now police officers are literally gathering together to make sure that people aren't gathering together in Times Square. Whoever would have thought that one year from now, if you were told that police officers are going to make gatherings illegal, especially in Times Square, especially during the New Year's, you wouldn't believe them. You wouldn't think that's possible, but that's exactly what's happening right now. And as New York City's finest and brightest that protect and serve you all the time are making sure... Oh, Lordy, what is... <laughs> What is happening in New York City, which is absolutely breaking down in utter freaking chaos from what we're seeing from the outside. I have family and friends there. They're, they're not happy with the current state of events. There's angry squirrels attacking people down the street because they are hungry and can't find any food. And now imagine, imagine what's going to happen to the hordes of unprepared individuals living on top of each other when that situation translates from the natural world to the real world. Yeah, I don't know about you, but maybe that's not the smartest strategic place to be in. And this year, I actually finally moved out of that city hellscape, and I'm happier than ever. Started my year off on a farm in Pennsylvania, transitioned into the Free State Project in New Hampshire. I now was supposed to be in, in Florida working on some sustainable hippie commune, but I've been stuck here at Temple's parking lot and i've been co-hosting the timcast irl show which has been pretty fun i don't know how long i'm going to keep doing this we'll see we're still kind of playing it out but as you know we don't quit so you could definitely expect more crazy insane exciting things in 2021 then even our flamethrower 2020 bash government pedo connected scarecrow scavenger hunt which of course we had in new hampshire with our survival courses and yes now i'm teaching survival courses it has been an absolutely wild year that has tested everyone especially myself and hey this was the year where the alleged conspiracy theorists were more accurate with their predictions than the quote experts so yeah we got that going for us also Never coming back to New York City ever again. The murder rate literally surged 41% this year. It's only going to go up in 2021, especially when you look at the larger economic ramifications coming our way soon that will have a tsunami reckoning our on our social and political life. Something, of course, created by establishment elites that are now telling you that they have the solution to the problem that they caused. That solution is, of course, the Great Reset, which we're going to get into in just a little bit. Make sure to, of course, see that you are subscribed and notified to this channel. Many people are unsubscribed. To get more information from us, go to wearechange.org and sign up on our email list. We also have many ways where you could help us and get directly involved on wearechange.org forward slash donate. For the few that do, sincerely love you guys from the bottom of my heart. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And, and just sincerely, thank you. Now, let's talk about that great reset and, of course, the term build back better that has been a major talking point for many ruling establishment elites for a very long time now. People have to understand 
This larger concept of the Great Reset isn't something new. It's been around for a while, and it's been advocated by many elites that are now trashing the economy, becoming richer than ever, while creating the largest income gap between the rich and the poor that we have recently seen in our modern times. Many globalist organizations years ago were using the term Build Back Better, and it's important to also understand that this is the major slogan and talking point of the Joe Biden presidency that literally makes this a staple of their platitudes that they promise with their very open, generalized, generic language. The same Biden administration that is devoted to the radical Great Reset movement, even according to their own administration members like John Kerry, who said himself the Biden administration supports the Great Reset and will, quote, will happen with greater speed and with greater intensity than a lot of people might imagine. The PR propaganda disinformation efforts have been ramped up to push this larger Great Reset, with, of course, Time magazine recently coming out partnering with the World Economic Forum, highlighting how this sickness, quote, provided a unique opportunity to think about the kind of future we want. We, not really meaning me and you, we, meaning the Pope, the Rothschilds, the World Economic Forum, the IMF, the World Bank, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, all of which have advocated, along with the Rothschild Foundation that's bringing together the Ford Foundation, the Rockefeller Foundation, along with the Pope who want to redefine capitalism. Those individuals are who they mean by we, because all of those individuals are the ones that are advocating for this great reset. The future, of course, will be shaped by them, and to think that this is done in some kind of consensus by the people is absolutely ridiculous and naive to think. So just on that basis, Time Magazine is absolutely wrong, but they continue on with their post, Time partnered with the World Economic Forum to ask leading thinkers to share ideas about how to transform the way we live and work. Now again, this is not new talk that we've seen. We've seen it a couple weeks ago with many think tanks and corporate organizations saying that this is a great opportunity to push the Great Reset. Then the mainstream media, specifically the New York Times, said you're a crazy conspiracy theorist if you think there's a Great Reset agenda. And now we're back on the propaganda push effort with not only Time Magazine pushing the larger talking points here, but also the major move made by Wall Street right now that many people say has begun the Great Reset. But before we get into that, of course, we need to understand some of the proposals proposals that these individuals are pushing. Of course, they're trying to make it seem that when you own no property, when you actually own nothing, when you have no privacy, that somehow you'll be happier than ever. And again, when you see their rhetoric, it's just very open, bland language about equality and fairness, essentially, op admittedly, pushing global collectivism and more central planning, because, you know, historically, central planning has never gone wrong at all. And again, who's doing the planning? The Rothschilds, the Rockefeller, the Ford Foundation, the, the banking elites, the corporations, the, the Bill Gateses, the, the Jeff Bezoses, the, the people who are most responsible for, I would say, in my opinion, the most amount of human suffering, they're the ones, they are now using the talking points that they will now build back better from their own destruction. That's what I personally see happening here. And they use this term, the Great Reset, to galvanize this larger propaganda push. That essentially is what the Great Reset is in, in layman terms explained to you. But this is the amazing thing. Not all hope is lost here, especially when you look at the comment section to Time Magazine, and they're absolutely being destroyed and ratioed to an extent that is absolutely impressive and awe-inspiring. One user wrote, so quote, you consult the oligarchs elites to determine how we, the commoners, have to live and work while the elites have not been affected by this sickness at all, but have actually profited? Are you out of touch with reality? Time equals totalitarian indoctrination, mass education. And uh, he has a point. The comments go on. What right does time or the World Economic Forum have to consider how others live and work? At least your desire for central planning and control is in the open. Time has fallen far since the days of Henry Luce. Quote, you should be ashamed of yourselves for even contemplating such an effort. And he is absolutely right 
Sadly, Time Magazine is acting like a rag that will just republish what the elites tell them to publish. Another user writes, technocrats and oligarchs want total control, but we are not going to just hand it over. Another user writes, I'm good, thanks. If anything, this sickness has taught me our government officials don't have a sweet clue what they're doing and I wouldn't trust them to reimagine a lemonade stand. Hallelujah. I definitely agree with that sentiment, as well as many others, including individuals saying, I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but this is freaking me out. The ratio is absolutely <laughs> incredible, as in the making of this video, the post has over a thousand responses, which is less than half of the likes. And again, people bring up very important points, like how... This sickness has essentially made the rich super rich. For these people to come out out of everything and say that they have more solutions to fix the problems that they are at least at the very minimum profiting from is absolutely naive. I'm sorry, but I don't believe the experts and the politicians that are literally lecturing people about how horrible it is to spend time with your family during the holidays as they literally jet off to the Caribbean islands with their families. I'm sorry, when the quote experts and political commentators have art like this inside of their homes they're individuals that shouldn't be trusted seriously a lot of sick people in our society and most of them are within the upper echelons of it now again the time magazine piece used language like we we're gonna determine this we're gonna figure this out meanwhile they're not waiting for you or your consensus or for you even to say jack squat about this they're just implementing this right now as we speak as one of the world's largest asset management firms that has been getting extremely favorable treatment from the u.s federal reserve specifically blackrock right now is quote fueling one of the biggest transfers of capital in the world who of course don't go along with the agenda of quote sustainability now again that's just another key generalized word out there that has been used and manipulated without any exact specific details. BlackRock specifically said that, that their clients will, quote, double their environmental, social, and corporate governance with investments within five years. And they call this specifically the new investment order. Sounds very similar to the new world order as they talk about the same kind of generalized language like we see from the world economic forum about how this sickness this year has quote accelerated profound shifts in how our economies and societies operate again just very snobby boozy language and they talk about how there's going to be major differences in sustainability inequality geopolitics and the quote joint macro policy revolution as they say themselves this calls for a fundamental rethinking of investment portfolios again almost the exact same language that we see on the world economic forum website congregated with of course all the other elites who are using the same talking points to push this larger reset they go on talking about the green movement has finally been accepted by wall street and this is a major move since of course blackrock is one of the largest global investment management companies in the world that manage 7.8 trillion dollars this is one of the head honchos out there that the federal reserve literally divvies up and prints all the money for when they lose money the federal reserve pays for it when they make money their private investors benefit from that they are the company that's literally getting socialism by the government while everyone else is getting screwed over now again when they're talking about sustainability and, and fighting climate change and inequality when you see some of the measures that they're putting in they're essentially closing off their club their private club that of course you're not in to make more money and if anyone wants to join their club they're going to invest and have to put up a lot more money to be in their special controlling club they just set the bar a lot higher for the levels of entry and essentially they're setting up a landscape where in the future if you want to have a business you're going to have more regulations more fines more restrictions that of course will stop you from even being competitors with the big guys, the big club, that of course is becoming ever elitist, ever exclusive, and ever more powerful. And that's predominantly happening because of our participation with it. We have a choice to shop at Amazon or at Walmart. 
you choose what you incentivize, not just with your dollars, but with your clicks and with your attention. You, just by watching this video, is a, something, in my opinion, that is, that is good. You sharing this video, getting the word out, is even better. It's more crucial than ever, especially with the algorithm timeline curation of news feeds that's happening right now that, of course, is making sure less and less people hear voices that are from the outside, that are alternative, that are questioning the prevailing logic that, of course, Time Magazine is being paid heavily to shove down your throat. Fight back against that by sharing this video. And because you do, I am still here. Have a hell of an amazing New Year's. I love you guys. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.